Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to be talking about Kimmy finally calling out Mattel Holt. And we're also going to talk about Kimmy addressing Melometers and not attending the Carlos King live podcast with Melody. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And everyone, please like, share, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let's get into it. So first of all, Kimmy in an interview recently was talking about why she did not attend the carlos king's live podcast with melody she said that melody's fans so the melometers are difficult to engage with she also said that the reason she didn't go was because most of the melometers would be there and they have expressed unhappiness um with the things that she has done um and that if she does not agree with what melody was saying they don't hold punches so she's of the opinion that she's in charge of her piece and she's not about to go back and forth with someone about a 42 minute edited show now let's dissect that that was a mouthful so let's let's break it down she does not want to show up because she feels like the millimeters are going to come after her if you do things properly and you say the right things and you come out and stand for what is right, nobody's going to come after you. Let's be clear. The mellow meters are not crazy people. They are logical people. Nobody's about to come after you if you say something rooted in logic, right? Nobody is about to come after you. The problem is people actually liked Kimmy for a while. When the show started, people actually liked her. People thought she was more of a neutral party, a bit of a peacemaker, a bit of an honest person. People stopped liking her when they started to realize that she was disingenuous um, and she is most times coming across as trying to root for or protect the Scots, um, Scots brothers, and not stand for what is right. People hated the fact that when she was having a conversation with Mattel about the infidelity in his marriage, all she cared about was checking, you know, whether Arian was good and not her so-called friend at the time, Melody Cherie. Shouldn't you be checking on the wife? Why are you finna be checking how the side chick is doing? So these are the reasons why people don't like you, Kimmy. You do things that are questionable. And the thing with that is, you do things that are questionable, so people question you. You cannot have an audience where people are only going to feel one way. There are always going to be people who support you as well. That's like me saying, that's like Mel saying, oh, I'm not going to show up to your events because your fans will be there and your fans are against me. It doesn't make any sense. What it sounds like is you didn't want to show up. You don't want to have any accountability. Let's be clear. If you are not on the show, like let's be honest, Stormy showed up, right? Stormy was sitting in the audience. You could have showed up and sat in the audience. Nobody will be coming up to you. It's your personal space. Let's not act like if someone came into your personal space, you couldn't say, excuse me, I don't want to talk to you, right? Like it is a public event. Things like it's unlikely to escalate when you can easily get security in there and be like, this person has been trying to talk to me. I really don't want to talk, blah, blah, blah. Don't make it into a thing. First of all, not that security is needed in a, at a millimeter event, guys. I'm just saying that if she was really concerned that someone was going to come and harass her, she could have brought her security as a plus one. That's what you do when you want to show up at an event, but you don't want to show up at an event and you want to bolster this narrative that they are trying to put on portray on the show that the millimeters are crazy. That is what you're trying to do. So it's like whatever you can do to try to push forward that narrative that the millimeters are cray cray, that is what you're trying to do. So cut it out by then saying, oh, you don't, they're not going to hold no punches. Yeah, they're not going to hold any punches, but don't act like you are a guest on the show and would be like Sonia and Moses sitting on there talking. You're not going to be there. So the only time anyone is going to be able to have an interaction with you is if you stay maybe for like a one-on-one -on -one networking at the end. Let's not act like one of the millimeters is about to be bothering you while the show is going on. 
which is not gonna happen so like i don't buy it i just feel like the scots have had a narrative about they want to push the millimeters into the ground and i feel like what they're trying to do is they want to disband the millimeters they want to cause discord in the midst of the millimeters and i feel like that is what they're trying to do so they want to consciously and be calling the millimeters names like why is nobody talking about the raindrops why is nobody talking about the t-shirt or whatever she calls her t-shirt squad or tish squad or whatever she calls them let's talk about it why not talk about all of that i've had someone who is a t-shirt fan come on the show and be extremely intense and i would say rude um but nobody is saying she ain't welcome here. Like you say your position, you I think the only thing I recall saying to her was like, Okay, girl, like you have your views, your views can be different from us, but we're gonna be respectful over here. And so that's just what that is. You're not going to have everyone that agrees with you. Sometimes I say something, you lot are in the comments checking me, and I'm like, All right. Now if you're not respectful, I may or may not respond um but it's not that deep now she did say that she can understand people making judgment based on the edits but she does not appreciate the direct malicious vicious attacks now kimmy if i had some advice for you if there was something specifically that someone said that is incorrect come out and clean it up come out and correct come out go on live and say what it is you have to say and correct the narrative if there are gaps with the edits that's why you have your social media go on there and say your piece okay but i'm tired of people not really saying much in return and not correcting the narrative and then they're upset that an alternative narrative has been created based on what we are seeing if you're so upset about it go out there go on live or even post it post a picture whatever it is a video explain your side and let that be that period now let's move on to the other aspect that i know you guys want to listen to was when she started talking about martel she was asked about martel's arrest and what it means for their relationship she did say that it is troubling and that one of the facts that it's so troubling is that because the person that martel can be is a nice person and then the person that Mattel can be is not so nice. So I'm like, here again, you're trying to be neutral in between. So you're like, oh, it can be a nice person and it cannot be a nice person. Can I remind you that a lot of the people who are ABs are always nice after the fact and present as nice people, present very charming in public, but then in private, they can be very AB. So let's not act like this is so far-fetched now let's give it to her she does say she knows a lot of people come over to her page and basically give her grief for the fact that she says Mattel is so nice however she feels like the part that is always edited out of the show is when she says that he's not nice or he's awful my thing is he has been more awful than nice. So I don't understand why you're so obsessed with this image of Mattel being a nice guy. Now, I will say I do appreciate it. You saying that it's, a hit, it's usually edited when you say he's not nice or he's awful. But my thing is, you could have come out and clarified that. You could have come out and said a little something, something. You did not so i just feel like yes he may have hit the editing floor but you keep giving them the opportunity if you keep starting off with the fact that he's so nice why not just say his behavior is atrocious terrible awful diabolical whatever it is that you want to say abusive why not say that why must you include the fact that you think he can be nice abusers can be nice it is a front they can pretend to be nice to create this public persona so that you don't believe that that is able to happen. And also, you continue to give them grace because you're like, oh, Fuji, they're quite nice. Not Cut it out. They're not nice people. They're abusive people. So if it's been edited one too many times, then maybe find a different way of saying what, you, what it is you want to say so that it does not get edited. I'm just saying. Or alternatively, come on social media and set the record straight so that we don't have to run with the edited version that we see. She talks about the fact that they've had conversations regarding his temper because of the way he speaks to them. 
she says she thinks a knock on the head is a learning lesson what knock what knock is a knock on the head i'm just trying to understand like where is the knock we're still waiting for the knock well, in all fairness to her, she did also say that sorry doesn't fix everything. So she was appreciative that Maurice and Merceau had the conversation with him, but it might have been a little too late. I'm like, let's be honest. I don't know why everyone keeps bringing all these shout outs to Maurice and Merceau. Am I the only one who thinks that conversation was not enough of us seeing that he was being held accountable? It felt like it was all glossed over, in my opinion. Now, they did call him out a little bit, but for the gravity of the things that he has done, in my opinion, they didn't really call him out. So I'm tired of people ba making it seem like, oh, Maurice and Monsieur, I'm so appreciative. They came out, they held him accountable. Accountable for what? Did they say to him, why would you threaten to release revenge P against your ex-wife? Why would you do that? Did they say to him, why would you let your side chick constantly talk about seeing this alleged tape seeing this tape sending it to other people why didn't you raise that why didn't they raise those things instead they're saying oh why would you go and do something with a blogger like cut it out it's like giving a tiny slap on the wrist for something as heinous as revenge p giving a slap on the wrist for speaking to a blogger taking things too far it's not like are we serious if one of these people if martel did that to your sisters your daughters would you have that energy or would you have a little bit more energy let's talk about it would you be like you know martel martel or would you have some vim for him right but you guys don't really care. You guys don't really want to hold him accountable. He knows where the secrets are buried. You do not want that smoke. So you will continue to, to avoid asking and having the right conversations and holding this man accountable just because you don't want him to what expose you guys. This is my opinion. I don't know if he has anything to expose you guys on, but I'm just going to say this because it does not make sense how his feet isn't being held to the fire. That's just, that's all I got to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tap that bell button right next to it. So you know, every single time that I post, can you believe we're almost on 3000 subscribers? I was saying there's a couple of I think, was it like last month or two months ago that I hit 2,000 and I was so excited. And now you guys, we're almost on 3,000. So I really appreciate every single one of you. I do not take this for granted. I'm so grateful and God bless every single one of you. And thank you, especially to the people who sign up to be members and pay that little extra subscription to help me out every month. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are so amazing. I cannot thank you enough. And thank you to everyone who actually spends time watching my videos, listening to me talk, um, and also leaving comments. Like, I really appreciate every single one of you. And that's why I really try to engage as much as I can. You all know I'm doing a full-time job. I'm busy, but I try my best to bring content consistently to you guys. And I thank you guys for actually helping me by watching it. You know, like, imagine I was doing all this content and doing all these extra work and you guys weren't watching it, that would just be such a downer. But I thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. And I pray that God grants your heart desires and takes care of you as you guys are taking care of us and me on this channel. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.